Hey everybody, welcome to our Nice Creative Flow. I'm Hubert Border, your coach and mentor. If you like these videos, hit subscribe and thumbs up. There's about six weeks of videos there on my YouTube channel where you will get some simple, direct, and effective techniques. I teach very basic techniques. The idea of what I'm teaching is to be simple, direct, and effective, to be safe, to be out of the way. But if you want the juicy details, then you'll have to take my course. In this video of our Nice Basics, we're gonna go through a numbering system. A lot of the Filipino martial arts go off of cinco tiros or five strikes. We've also added two more horizontal strikes, which we could call six and seven, but we don't go past that. In some systems, they have say up to 32 strikes, but they're all based off of the same angles. These strikes were taught to me and we keep them very simple and straight to the point. Let's go off of the five basic strikes. I'll just use you and as my target and then I'll face you so you can see them. So we have our angle one, we have our angle two, we have our angle three, our four, and then our five is our thrust. And if we want to add a six and seven, let's just add them in there. Six and a seven, but we'll keep it to the five strikes because that even keeps it more simple. Those five strikes are based off of a cross. So if we divide the body into a cross, then that's where those five strikes are applied. So if you in held his two sticks and he held, holds them in a cross, kind of resembling his body, that would be where his head is. Obviously his shoulders are up here and his hips and legs fall within that quadrant. Let's call these quadrants. We got like four quadrants. That's how the body is divided into four quadrants. We go through those strikes facing you. So we go one, two, three, four, and five thrust. So in some systems, those four quadrants are broken down into, let's say 19 to 30 plus strikes. Some maybe even have more, I don't know. For me, that's complicated because then I have to know in this quadrant alone, or even in, we'll use the, this quadrant over here, our angle four strike. In that quadrant, you have like 19, 17, uh, 21, 22, 36, 35, 27, and all these strikes will be in that one quadrant. What is the purpose of that? For me, that's complicated. And as I said at the beginning, what I'm teaching is very simple, direct, and effective. Within that one quadrant of angle four, I have a slash, I have a hit, I have a thrust, I have a puño, right? I have many strikes that I can do in that quadrant, but I don't have to number every one of those strikes because we just know it's all gonna happen in that side of the body. If I have a knife, I can slash, I can stab, I can turn the knife around, I can do everything that I could do in that quadrant, but I don't have to go, this is number 16, this is number 17, this is number, this is number 18, this is number 19, this is number 20. It just becomes overly complicated. As long as you know everything you can do in each quadrant, every strike that you can do in each quadrant, then you just need to know that's an angle one quadrant, this is an angle two quadrant, this is an angle three quadrant, an angle four quadrant, and then five obviously is the thrust straight down the middle. So if you understand that those five strikes or those four quadrants, you can add any strike you want into angle one, then you just say, feed me an angle one slash, feed me an angle one puño, feed me an angle thrust in angle one, puño in angle one, do an angle one strike. If you had a blade, an angle one slash. I don't need to give you all the numbers for those quadrants. Making it very simple, direct and effective. I think that kind of explains this. I don't need to get into any more of that. that gives you the general idea and principles behind five strikes. Because in combat, it has to be simple. You won't need to know 35 strikes in this one quadrant because you're not gonna think that way. You're just gonna respond with a hit. You're gonna respond with a back end, a puño, a thrust, or a slash. It's gonna become reflexive and you're not gonna have to think about it. And that's what I teach. It's gonna become reflex. You don't need to know more than that. Be simple, direct, and effective. In any FMA system that you're training, Think about these principles. Fancy stuff is great. The art is great. I love the art and I would always recommend the art. I'm Hubert Border for another lesson of our Nice Creative Flow on the four quadrants. Thanks again, Ewan, for having us here. It's a very simple lesson. I hope you got something out of it. Hit subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next one. And I don't have a stick. Finish it off, Ewan.